Hello, my family. We are somewhat in a rush. <laughs> I am currently, at this moment, making slider buns. Now, these are made with fresh milled flour, and the reason for this, if you're not familiar with it, well, divided up in two sections of the United States. Northern section, you all know about your White Castle. Southern section, you know about your um, crystals. Today, we're going to do that homemade. And yes, this is not Mediterranean, but I told you all that I tried to incorporate everybody. This is a quick, simple thing, sort of, but it takes a little bit of action to do. So I am going to go ahead and get started because I need to get everything done before 2.30. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, y'all, so we're first going to start out with while these buns are rising. Now, I'm not doing the recipe for that because, like I said, this was fresh milled, y'all. So, you are welcome to make homemade of your favorite dinner rolls. Make them a little less than you would the size of a dinner roll for a slider. Or you can actually buy the slider buns at the store. I'm actually going to start with the meat because it's going to be really simple. There is a small process to it, only if you want to. It just helps get that consistency of that fast food. Other than that, you can leave it like it is. So I'm going to lower you down to my food processor right quick. And um, we're going to go ahead and make these sliders. Okay, y'all. So I am using grass-fed um, from Aldi's hamburger. This is organic. And I'm actually going to process this down just a little. It's one pound. Most recipes call for two pounds, but honestly, we don't need two pounds worth of meat. So I'm actually lowering this down for two people. But I'm going to get the consistency what we need here. So go ahead and get all of my hamburger meat out of my package. I hate wasting, y'all especially nowadays. All right, so let me get this thrown away. Okay, so the consistency I'm looking for, I do not want this pureed into pate or baby food. I want a still structure of a meat, but just a little bit, how do I explain? I'll have to show it to you. It's hard to explain, but I want it to be able to spread very easily. Now this can be done on a griddle which would have been really great. However, I don't have much time for that, so I am going to use my oven. So we're gonna take and turn this on. We're gonna process this, adding just a tiny bit of water at a time. I am not adding a lot. When I'm done, I will show you what this should look like. I'm gonna show you, y'all, this part at least. Um, it might be a little loud, but not too bad. I'm pulsing it so that I'm not killing my meat. And like I said, I'm only doing about a teaspoon at a time of water. Just a little bit more and this is going to be perfect. That's it. Alright. So... And like I said, you could if you really wanted to. This helps stretch it though. And you see that consistency right here? This is what we need. So now we're done with this. I don't need it anymore. And now we're going to fix this onto our pan. Okay, y'all. So we're using the size about a 9 by 13 inch pan. I'm going to add just a little bit of olive oil to this. Not a whole lot. Just going to lightly coat the bottom of my pan because this meat will have enough 
oil in it as well, which we want. Now, the first thing we're going to do is instead of using dehydrated onions like they do, I am actually going to be using um, some minced white onion and I want to coat the bottom of this pan with this onion. Now you can caramelize yours if you want to, but it's just going to cook in here anyways and you want that onion flavor in the meat. But you definitely want to put this coating a bottom at the bottom of this. Now I'm using about a half of a white onion, so if you were to do it for a big size family, I would say one full uh, medium size onion at least, or one large, because you would need a bigger pan than what I have. Again, this is not a recipe, it's just something that you can learn, watch, throw it together. It's really simple. Now I'm going to take my meat and I'm going to break it up in pieces around here on top of my onion. I want to try to get this on here without shifting these onions as much as possible. However, it's not going to be 100%. So we just want to be able to do what we can do here and spread this hamburger on top of these onions thin all the way through here yeah. like I said it's not going to be easy we're just trying to cover these onions with this meat too so this is going to take a little bit so let me go ahead and get this done and once I get this done we'll be right back all right, y'all, so now we're going to try to make somewhat of a perforated edge around here because we want to try to get at least, for one pound, at least 12 um, sliders. One, two, three. Maybe a little bit more than that. Okay, there's 12. Okay, we get 22. That's good enough. Okay, so I just, I did not go all the way through. I just made my lines. Now some of these edges, this is going to be harder. If I had more meat, I would do this more. So I'm not going to worry about it. It's just hubby and I. Now, in each one, I want to put holes in this to create a steam where the steam can come through and not shrink these too much. Okay, so it requires just basic seasonings. Honestly, everybody, you've seen some with, I, I've seen some with Worcestershire and onion soup mix and all that. It's nothing, y'all, but just a little bit of salt and pepper. That's it. You just want to salt all your little burgers and then take and put some pepper on each one. Because your flavoring is going to come from your mustard and your pickles and your onions. So you don't want to overpower that. Now I'm going to use a um, chopstick for this. But I want to go through and make holes in here where they go all the way through. Now I know that um, White Castle has five in there. So I'm just going to do it that way. Most of the time crystals don't have these, but so I'm just going to go here and make sure that all of these have their steam holes and we'll be right back. Okay, y'all. So that's it. This is what it should look like. Now, as soon as the dinner rolls or the slider rolls are out of the oven, this is going in there at 400 degrees. For about about 10 minutes but I'm gonna keep an eye on this so once I get everything done I will come back and show you how to assemble and make your own White Castle crystals at home tailgate parties fun night with the kids anything like that this would be great it's healthier because you're using real meat real food and it's not from the fast food so it actually comes out a lot cheaper making your own so what would I serve with this? Well, at the same time everything's baking, I'm just going to go ahead and set this up because we are going to make some blooming onion petals. 
not the whole bloom and onion, but we are just going to make the petals somewhat like onion rings, but something different. So this would be super easy, a great lunch for hubby or dinner basically for him at work. So that's what we're making. So I'm just taking my little petals apart, getting ready to make my batter. We're going to fry these up and he is going to have the crystal burgers with bloom and onion petals. I don't mind making homemade either because it just comes out a lot better. And the flour base that we are using for this all, y'all, um, just like the dinner rolls, I am using fresh milled. I will show you how to do this as well. You can do this with your own flour um, if you didn't have fresh milled. So on to the next step. Okay, y'all. Y'all, so this is um, one cup of milk, one egg mixed together. And in this mix here, we have one cup of flour. We have, uh, yeah, hang on a second. I wrote everything down. I have one and a half teaspoons of oregano in here. I have a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I have a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of pepper, and a one and a half teaspoons of paprika. So we're just gonna add all of this to our flour. And we're gonna mix this up as well. And I need to get another thing because I'm not using a wet one in it. Okay, so now we're going to mix this up. We're going to add our petals in our milk base into the flour, back into our milk base, back into the flour, and then straight to the oil on the stove. So in the meantime, I'm getting this ready. I'm about to add the oil. And once I get this done, we'll be back. The buns are about to come out of the oven, and I'm going to show them to you in a minute. My proud moments, y'all. Let's see if I can do this without burning my fingers. Look at that. That is so beautiful. These are half the size of a dinner roll. I took a Lovely Bell's uh, dinner roll recipe, divided it in half to make 24 um, sliders for supper tonight, and they came out absolutely perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to butter the top, set this aside, and get ready to make the meat. I'm going to raise my oven up to 400, and we're going to put the meat that goes to the sliders in the oven next. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to start with coating my onion petals. I'm going to coat these really well. Then I'm going to take them from here, and we're going to add them to our flour mix. Then back in here, doing a double coating before it goes into our oil. So let me go ahead and get these coated back and forth. And unless maybe, let me see if I can get you pulled back so you can see this, that work. All right, so I need to get a slotted spoon for this one per se. Because I do not want to add too much of this liquid into my dry mix. I just want to take this out, cover this up. My oil is nice and hot. I'm actually going to turn that down just a little bit. See, I thought I had all these petals separated, but some of them decided to go back together. All right, so now I'm going to coat all of these petals just like this as you can see here you can actually and I probably next time I'm going to use a plastic ziplock bag to coat these so actually that's exactly what I'm going to do so I'm going to be right back so I can coat them the second round in a ziplock bag and stop all this mess all right y'all so this is not fancy this is called trying to prepare a meal quickly within a certain amount of time it is currently and I said I have until two basically 210 to get all this done and it's currently 110 so I got one hour to get everything finished off so and we started out honestly at about 1130 so 
It took one hour to um, mix and rise our dough for our sliders, uh, the buns. So that was the 1130 mark for that one that I started at. So, so far we're doing good. And this is showing that this is a quick meal and can be done. Now I will be making mine later. Right now I gotta get hubbies. So shake and bake it y'all. Only we're gonna shake and fry it. So I'm gonna coat these onions and now we're gonna take them out of here and we're gonna drop them into our oil for our petals. And that's it. So let me go ahead and get these finished and I'll put everything together and show you everything when it is finished. Okay y'all, so the meat is now out of the oven and where I had my perforated edges, I'm just going to go through here and cut this meat now into my little squares. Just like so. Now they have shrunk. Yes, they have. And it is kind of hard to see these things now after it's been cooked, but I can see it. Come on now. It needs to be difficult. So let me go up here. trying not to do too much of my right there I have turned my oven down basically because now I'm going to turn around and take this in another pan I'm going to melt the cheese on top of this so that we can put this inside of his buns that we have ready so I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting these up once I get these cut up I'll show you what we're gonna do next Okay, y'all, so I'm actually going to take these buns and I'm cutting them in half. I'm going to lay them on top of this pan with the meat in it because we're going to absorb some of the juices in here. This is basically how they also do that um, at the fast food restaurants. It, uh, it kind of adds that flavor to it. In the meantime, I'm going to take four of the ones that I have already done and... I have them in this pan because we're going to go melt the cheese that goes on top of it. I also have to fry up some bacon pieces, so that'll be next. I'm going to go ahead and show you how I'm going to do this. And then we're going to get out the bacon, start frying some of that up. And we want this cheese to match the top of these, so I'm going to fold a slice in half basically this way in half again make a small square and then place this on top of each slider just like so now this is going in the oven in the meantime I'm getting a pan so I can turn around and make some bacon all right y'all let's assemble these sliders so right now we have our beef patties on the bottom part of our buns we have our cheese on the top. We're going ahead and put our kosher pickles on top of this. Our onions are underneath those patties that we cooked it with. So, I'll put this there. Now we're going to take our slips of bacon, place it on top of each one right here. Who needs fast food, y'all? We can just do this right here at home. Set this aside. Turn that off. Now we're going to add our mustard to each bun. Dab of mustard on each one. Place this on top. <laughs> I 
And there you have it, y'all. We have our own little crystal burgers. Look at these. These are so stinking cute. And I guarantee you, this is better than you can get at the restaurant. I'm going to go ahead and plate these up. I actually not plate them. I'm, I'm going to set these up for him to get packed up. And we'll show you everything done. Okay, y'all. So, here we have his bloom and onion petals. We're going to seal it with some homemade ranch dressing. Right smack dab in the middle of this bowl. Pack it up. Four crystal burgers ready to go. To which he done ate one and it is definitely hubby approved and he said they are so close to the real thing from the restaurant but tastes so much better. So y'all that's a pack away lunch but I have an entire meal made for a family. So this is what what I'm showing you in the pack away is you can do some of these petals and let me face you. Okay so it is currently 144. I started at 1130. So about for two and a half two hours and ten minutes or so y'all I managed to bake a pan. Those are still kind of warm. Whew. A pan of slider buns, fresh milled. This was milling it and everything. And then we made the meat, which we did together. We did the petals and we fried them up. So for about two hours and 10 minutes, I made it uh, basically this meal right here, this size will serve a family of four basically so you might push it for five so this would be great uh, hubby has four for lunch he had one and I still have quite a bit so you might even feed a family of five out of this it depends on how much your family eats so four to be safe absolutely at least so there there's that y'all it's really simple there's really no recipe for this but i will give you the steps on it these are quick meals now this is where fall is coming we want some of that comfort food but we want something where number one we're trying to save on expenses i am actually spending time in this kitchen teaching you how to recreate your restaurant style food healthier cheaper and taste so much better so this is step two the first one we created was the big mac now we recreated the white castle or crystal burgers one other we are going to recreate the whopper from burger king so each time i'm recreating if there's something you want recreated let's have some fun if you want to see how i'm doing this how i can and if it's a challenge if i'm able to let's do this so let me know in the comments below what you would like to see recreated at your favorite restaurant so in the meantime i have a one shot deal that i'm going to show you all something on how real this really is or how real i am you all see pretty much this prim proper what looks like a studio kitchen and studio home y'all two and a half or two hours and ten minutes I had a flyby I had to get stuff ready to be able to get hubby prepared so that he had something to eat for supper tonight but I want to show you the remnants of reality of what you don't see and it'll show you how real I really am with you hang on a minute all right y'all you ready for this this y'all this is <laughs> it's a mess I'm telling you, this is my reality. I have things everywhere right here. So prim and proper, we are not. We are absolutely real, y'all. Now, I probably shouldn't have flipped you like that, so I'm sorry about that. But I wanted you to see just one time, y'all. I'm just as real as you. I'm not some prim, proper show. My kitchen, it gets reality every single day. I spend a lot of time cleaning up in here. So now, that's exactly what I'm fixing to do because this kitchen is driving me crazy. I am fixing to clean everything up, and I will be doing my meal here after a while. 
So I hope you enjoyed this rendition of a makeover crystals or White Castle burgers. I'm hoping this maybe helps somebody figure out something quick, simple, easy, and fun for the kids, for the whole family. On football season, well, football season's coming around, so tailgate party, whatever. I'm hoping this will help you. They are really good, y'all. They can be addicting. So, hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, much love. Mwah! From Parton's Heritage Homestead.